I do not know what Nvidia is thinking these days. It has miserably failed to do something that could have done good to gamers, but instead it has helped miners a lot. Whether it is unlocking the LHR by mistake or launching an actual gaming GP for miners, Nvidia mostly cared about its revenue. What is even more staggering, however, is the latest weird laptops graphics cards launch. Just two days ago, it launched three laptop GPUs for gamers and creators. These are the GeForce RTX 2050, GeForce MX570 and the MX550. If you think that MX570 and the MX550 belong to the same family, you are wrong. If you think that the RTX 2050 is going to be an amazing graphics card for gaming, you are wrong again. Now wait here before you go away. I have a couple of more strange things to tell that will surprise you a lot just as it surprised me. As soon as these GPUs were launched, we got some detailed specs of these graphics cards leaked on Zihu. What users found out is that the RTX 2050 and MX570 are literally the same GPU, except that the MX570 is cut in its specs to reduce some performance. Not only that but the RTX 2050 is not from the Turing series but from the Ampere family, despite its name. Both the RTX 2050 and MX570 have the same GA107 GPU core that is the core of RTX 3050. They also have the same amount of CUDA cores but Nvidia has cut both of these GPUs in terms of their memory bus width which is originally 128 bit. Also to show RTX 2050 apparently a different card from MX570, Nvidia reduced the VRAM of MX570 to 2 GB. Nvidia further tried to reduce the performance of MX570 by reducing the ray tracing and DLSS performance, as well as implemented a feature where the TGP of the new gaming notebooks will determine how much memory speed these GPUs can access. It is said that the RTX 2050 will run at 30 to 45 watts, accessing 14 Gbps of memory speed, while the MX570 will run on 15 to 25 watts on a slower 12 Gbps memory speed. Despite all these efforts, the performance difference isn't as noticeable as it should be. This leak time spy benchmark shows that the RTX 2050 scored 3369 points, which is said to be the same or nearly equal to the score by MX570. Yes, it is already a big achievement by an MX GPU thanks to the increased memory speed over the previous MX graphics cards. But the problem is that despite having 2048 cores, the RTX 2050 or the MX570 do not seem to deliver the performance as they should. RTX 2060 has 1920 CUDA cores and therefore on paper it looks like the RTX 2050 is somewhere around its performance. But it is not even close to the GTX 1650 that scores 3700 plus points. Now coming to the third GPU which is the MX550, it is surprising that it is made using the older Turing architecture. It features 1024 CUDA cores, 2 GB of VRAM and 64 bit memory bus width. It is the successor to the MX450 and ditches GDDR5 VRAM completely by adopting GDDR6. It scored 2510 points on Time Spy which makes it slower than one of the upcoming AMD Rembrandt APU which scored 2700 points. So the question is, what was the need for launching these new GPUs, particularly the RTX 2050 and MX570 when we already have the RTX 3050, which is 1.7 times faster? Also, why did Nvidia use the same RTX 3050 GPU core for the RTX 2050 and use 2000 nomenclature even though it is based on Ampere? And lastly, why did it launch two different GPUs in different families even though they are literally the same? I don't think there was any need to do these shady steps except that Nvidia just wanted to show that it is constantly working to provide gamers and creators with newer and supposedly better options. Hit like if you also believe this to be true and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And I will see you in the next video.